I drove taxis for 20 years. And let me tell you one thing. Most of you man them that are talking about, I would have done this and I would have done that and survival in six, don't know what you're talking about. Did you know that there's man out there that for the sake of not wanting to pay a fiver, they'll put a weapon to your neck? Did you know that just because of the way you look, there's man that'll get out of your cab, try to take the keys from the front and surround you so that you can't escape, just so that they can give you a beating? Did you know that when you're in these kind of situations and you're well within your rights to defend yourself and you do, guess who ends up getting suspended? Guess who's not allowed to work for a few weeks pending the investigation? Guess whose bills are going to pile up? Guess whose rent isn't going to be paid? You as a driver that defended yourself because some muppets thought, we don't like the look of this guy. He's gone out to work just so that he can put food on the table for his family and he's got caught up in a madness thinking, how the hell do I handle this? You guys don't even know what's in front of the guy's car or what's behind the guy's car. All you're seeing is my man frozen. Every single time you get man acting sketchy in your car, there's always one thought that's going on in your mind. How's this ride going to end? Is it going to end with these guys just paying and I get going? Or is it going to end up in some sort of a kickoff? Most of the time, it ends up being sweet. But the fact is, all the way till the end of the journey, which could last an hour, two hours, you're paranoid. You're, you're thinking out different scenarios in your mind because sometimes it doesn't end well. Given he could have reacted better, I would have reacted better, as I have done on many occasions. But this might be the first time it happened to him. But you guys shouldn't be pointing your fingers because you've never been in that kind of situation before.